What's going on guys, it is Zaid and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new way of content to this YouTube channel everybody. Today I am now going to be explaining what the stealth server includes and everything like that on the video instead of going over with music in the background. I want to give a little bit more detail and insight into the actual stealth server itself. But today guys, we are going to be having a little review at XB Core Still Server. This server is literally new in 2022 right now guys, so we're going to actually have a little look at it. So, um, this server has got a lot of uh, features like the custom UI and stuff like that. It's got rainbow mode, reset UI, it's, you can got speed, it's got rotations. The server is absolutely unreal. As you guys can see, look, if I hit this button, it'll toggle rainbow. Um, basically, if you click speed, this will speed up the rainbow mode in it, as you can see. It's pretty lit. It's pretty lit. Um, we've got a module loader, so if we click the module loader, you can basically activate the XB Core cheats by simply putting cheats.xcx. So we'll do that right now, as you guys can see. Boom. There you go. And then the cheats will be activated. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature that it's got as well. It's even got a quick launch tab, so if basically you can launch any game right here from the dashboard and your RGH will literally boot it. Um, so for instance, I could just click World at War and it would literally load up. Um, I'm not going to do that in this purpose of this video. Um, you've got updates and info, basically giving you the change log of what the server holds. So basically the new features that have come out for it. So obviously it's got gold COD bypasses, gold spoofing. Um, pop-up notifications and COD engines that were added, like the Black Ops 1 COD engine, which I'll show you in just a bit. Um, the guide's got a nice curvature to it, the blades look amazing, it's got nice curved blades. Um, it's got uh, basically statistics at the bottom of the HUD that basically tell you, obviously, how much time you've got, uh, what your KV days are, your challenges, your KV hash. Um, it's even got a nice news bar at the very top as well, showing your IP address and obviously the name of the server. Um, we've even got the XB Core GUI, so if we open it up, it'll include your challenge count, how, how long you've been unbanned. So if we do the challenge count right now, obviously I've done zero challenges so far. Um, obviously it features your CPU key, your console IP. Um, so as you can see, I've only got zero days, 13 hours, 45 minutes on this server, as you guys can see. So we go to interface, uh, obviously you can set the rainbow UI straight from the interface as well. Uh, display temperature, so if we click save on that, if you open the guide, it actually shows all of the temperatures of your Xbox. Uh, basically what your CPU temp is, your GPU temp, memory temp, and uh, your BRD temp. Um, which is pretty cool as well, so you can keep track of your console doesn't overheat or anything like that. Uh, you've got amazing Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare Ghosts, BO2 Destiny Bypasses. Um, lots of cheats as well as you can see. I've also got I've only got BO1 and BO2 cheats enabled so far. Um, obviously, BO1 and BO2 are the only cheats that are working at this current minute. There will be more cheats added eventually. Um, obviously, another change feed basically showing you what's new and what's coming to the server and stuff like that. This is more of a full um, log for you guys to actually look at. Obviously, the one on the dashboard will show you just a short glimpse of what's been added. But if you go over to the XB Core GUI, it's going to obviously show more additions. Okay, so that's basically covering the dashboard side of things. I think we should quickly jump onto some of the cheat engines and see what that's about. Alright guys, so we're back. We're on BO1 as you can see. We're going to jump into some combat training to try out this brand new cheat engine. But guys, I have got XB Core Engine version 1.0 and it's looking lit. It is smooth as a baby's bottom. We're just going to select a map and we're going to use this bad boy. So we're going to hop into Nuketown. Uh, let's edit the game options. Um, we'll just put more enemies in here. Nine enemies. Let's go. Alright, let's, let's start. Let's try this bad boy out. If I get killed by a bot, don't laugh at me. We're going to try this out and see what this cheat engine is all about. Alright, so here we go. I'm not best with cheat engines, not going to lie. But I do try my best with them. Here we go, we're going to hop in with Um... I'm gonna actually just set a preset if we've got them on here. I don't think we've got them on here. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh yeah. Load XB core. Do it if necessary, comrades. If 
Alright, maybe not. Maybe that doesn't work. Alright, um. Alright, maybe if I just, I just enable some of these things here. Alright, there you go. Now we're talking. I'm gonna die. Oh, I told ya. I told ya I was gonna die. I've not enabled anything yet. Radar, let's put that one on. Come on, you little goat. Oh no, Microsoft just knocked me out. Oh, I just got nailed again. Hey, right, fuck it. Aimbot time. Haha, Flamji, you got it. You got Flamji, got nailed. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Get it, everybody, now. Get back in, she's ready for delivery. March it easy. Prioritized. Spy plane standing by. Yo, that's. Oh my god, this aimbot is so sick. I'm not even gonna lie. Right, Give me a track, man. You can actually say give me Cobra, standing by. La la. Oh, yes, that's nice. Flashing gamer tag. Oh, even better. Look at that. La la, boys. And la la. Um, yo, this so far, I'm enjoying it. It's sick. Uh, corners, 2D, 3D. Loving the same bot though. Uh, board. G head. Nice. Alright, so he's walking on the other heads. Oh, nice. Oh, go. Oh. Uh, I just got knocked out again. Alright, so. Try this one. Neck. Cobra standing by. So this is gonna aim straight for the neck every time I can pass. Yep. Aim for the neck. Okay. Spy plane ready for deployment. So the shoulders like. Get back in the ready. Show us where you want it. Um. Alright, so. Shoulder right. Alright, so you can do a left or right shoulder when you're hitting them. Cobra, standing by. Okay. Main route. Oh, it's actually where main spawn. Alright, that's just a... Alright, okay, I got that. Nice! Alright, cool. And what's in the settings menu? Oh, well. Let's set it all back to normal. Oh well, that's pretty nice. It's pretty good cheat engine. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, so basically, this is the same cheat engine for like obviously Black Ops 2 as well. So basically, it's, like, it's for all pods. Uh, it will be for all pods eventually. There is more uh, gonna get added, more cheats. So it's gonna be good. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, sort of it for the uh, BO1 cheats, and that's pretty much XP core that it entails so far. If you guys do want to download it, the link will be in the description. If you guys want to check out XP core, it is a free stealth server. Uh, it will require a KV because it doesn't have no KV mode as of yet. I know in my previous video I did say it did have no KV mode, but I actually, it, it turns out it wasn't. So I'm going to have to change the title on that video soon. Thank you everybody for watching today's video, my name's been Zaid, if you liked it, smash the like button right now, drop a comment telling me if you did enjoy this video at all, I love you guys, and I'm out, peace.